Yo, what's up, guys? Check this out. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to a new video on my channel. Today is another day and another bike check. Today, we're gonna talk about my downhill race bike. And this one came fresh off of the last race I did. That was the European Champs in uh, France. <laughs> It's basically cleaned afterwards and then yeah it's basically as it is here is how I did my finals run I'm just gonna run you through all of my bike all the components the suspension numbers from the handlebars to the tires why I run like certain stuff I'm gonna run you through all of my bike today yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the one I did from my enduro bike if you haven't seen that one yet I'll get a link somewhere up here where you can click on it as well or at the end of the video you can see it as well so as you guys know I'm sponsored by Canyon and I'm an ambassador from for quite some years now and I've been running the Canyon Center for quite some years now as well this is the Canyon Sender. This is the mullet version. So 29 in the front, 27 and a half in the back. I have this one in the shortest mode that is possible. So you can change like the reach up in here with uh, a difference of, I think, I believe it's eight millimeters different. So you can put it in the middle, you can put it in the plus one, and then you can put it in the minus one as well. But I'm all the way in the back. And just make sure if you do so, with i think rock shocks it's not possible because of the crown of the fork and it hits the frame so yeah make sure you think about that when you change it so you don't destroy anything of your frame um and then i'm in the short mode here in the back so this is like a five mil difference and uh yeah i'm all the way in the short and then the size of this frame is a large, so I didn't tell you about that. I'm 175 centimeters, so I'm not the tallest guy out there. So this frame might be too big for you, but uh, for me, I've been running the large frame for the last three years now. I rode the, the full 29er version as well, but um, for most of the races, I like the, the mullet to the 27 and a half rear wheel, just to have it a bit more playful so yeah that's basically all about the frame now at the heart of the frame we get to the shock this is the Erlins TTX 22 model 2 and we got a 475 LBS spring on here um, and then as you can see my high-speed compression is on three so that's the hardest so you can you can put it on one you can put it on two and put it on three and i'm on the hardest um just remember on the enduro shock this last one sometimes is like a pedally mode but this one is three is like more for riding so i'm on three on that one compression somewhere in the middle and then rebound quite slow now working away up to the cockpit starting with the stem this is a reverse components prototype stem I think 30 25 millimeters long it's like very short as you can see but this one is a prototype one so you can't really get it but they had some of them laying around and um, just to make the reach of my bike a bit shorter because uh, i feel like this frame is quite big for me so i just wanted to have a, quite a short stem to make up for it then i'm running the nico vink reverse handlebars as well in 35 mil rise and yeah in this angle you can see which kind of angle i'm running it so i think yeah pretty straightforward and then we got this little top cap from reverse too as you can see i run quite a interesting setup here with the with the height of the fork and then with the spaces on it the reason because i do it like that is so this is the furthest the fork can go down so from here to here it's like 200 mil or just a little bit more so fork doesn't break of course <laughs> i do this because this way the head angle of the fork is as steep as it gets to make it turn a bit easier for me so if you let's say you push this all the way through to here the yeah your your top bit goes up and then the, the angle is different so i wanted to have a tighter angle so yeah, it steers a bit quicker like the enduro bike so that's why i do like that so that's why there's a big stack on there 
so I got these custom grips and they yeah they have a bit of an interesting thing going on here so usually this clamp on here is on this side as well but because I run my hands a bit like that on the side my skin doesn't really like it so therefore I came up with the solution if I put like an inner tube over it I extend the grip a bit and I can just lay my hands on it and uh, yeah these grips are very soft and quite thick yeah I have a bit of a problem with my hand where I can't really run different grips so that's why I'm on on these ones now working our way down to the front of the bike we got the Erdens 38s on here combined with the Mudhugger Evo this is the one you just zip tie onto it we got reverse Evo hubs good stuff strong wheels uh, be running them for years and years now. I've been with reverse for quite some years. So reverse Evo 10 hubs combined with the reverse aircon discs the brake discs as well 203 mil cooling ventilation stuff Works well with the, the cooling so to the tires So I have the pro core system in here as the insert this is a bit of a interesting valve where it has two valves two chambers in the tire that you can pump up unfortunately you can't buy this online anymore Schwalbe doesn't make them anymore but since I'm a sponsored rider I of course can still get it combined with Schwalbe tires as well of course the freshy techie chan this is a new downhill and enduro tire um, 2.35 width and then of course in ultra soft now these are the first ride version this is a different version than you can buy online but i think the handling of the tire is more so the same so i rode both of the the one you can buy online and then the first ride one and uh yeah they feel for the average consumer they are they are pretty much the same so yeah you should uh, should be good so yeah techie chan in the front and uh yeah that's basically what we covered now for the front of the bike now working our way down to the back we got a reverse seat on there as well with the reverse seat post so this is the fourth wheel seat com combined with a carbon seat post we got this fender going on here as well on the frame pretty flexible just to get the, the rocks and stuff out of the way for the shock so it doesn't get in there works fine I've been running it for three years and none of them broke so that yeah, speaks for itself working way down to the drivetrain reverse bash guard really strong really good stuff we got the O chain on here as well which basically works as a removal of the pedal kickback so it does this little thing over here where it has a little bit of play now a lot of people ask me if you really can feel the difference and if it's not strange because you have this little play in it but I think I rode with it once and then after that I basically got used to it and yeah, I've been running it on all my bikes since then so I think that speaks volume to itself that the product works and then you can change the degrees inside how much it angles when you when you press on it and I'm on the nine degree one you can go four degrees six and nine the crank rollers pedals on here as well the silver ones i've been running them for years and years always been good to me so uh, moving our way to the back we got the reverse wheel both in the front and the rear of course now this is the efs 7 speed hub on there combined with of course the aircon reverse aircon discs both in 203 mil both in the back and in the front just gonna quickly give you a little sound check because this thing actually sounds very good so i think it used to make even more sound before but i just put some grease in it before the last race if you see my auto bike check i was telling about that i was running the magic mary in the front but because um, for the European champs it was very very dusty I both have the Techie Chan in the front as in the rear because it gives a bit more of an easier controlling feel to it for the dust and stuff worked very good but usually I run the Magic in the front good example that you can run both the Techie Chan in the front and the rear of course 
maybe something i've missed was the the number plate we got going on here so this is actually a number plate my dad made by himself so he just cut out some plastic here's the bike from the other angle it's a large frame one of the questions i got as well is about the linkage so it says here you can put it in 27 and 29 but the truth is that you can only do this when you actually have a different rear triangle so if you would change it the bottom bracket height would not be the same and that's what they not recommend from canyon so keep that in mind because i got some questions about it and uh people not seem to pick up on that so yeah that's one of the things you maybe should think about so that was it for the bike check of my canyon sender hope you enjoyed watching the video if you have any questions about the bike the components just reach out in the comments below i still have another bike actually that i could even make a bike check off which is my e-bike so if you guys are interested in that as well please let me know and maybe we'll get that one as well on the on the youtube um so yeah hope you guys enjoyed watching see you guys in the next one